Hi, this is David Mintz, G4 Guitar in Lake Forest with another video lesson. And in today's lesson, we're going to be taking a look at how to play the F major scale using three notes per string, playing out of the first position, starting with the root note of F down here on the first fret sixth string. Okay, So, three notes per string. What we're going to see with the scale is that it's very symmetrical and we have a similar pattern to play on every two strings. Okay, so let me play the scale for you and then we'll break it down and show you how we're gonna get into it, okay? Here we go. There we have it. So, let's get started. So the first note is the F root note found here on the first fret sixth string. So we're gonna play first fret with our first finger, second fret with our second finger. Okay, a little bit of a stretch there. First finger on the first fret, second finger on the third fret. Then we can often play the fifth fret with our fourth finger. Okay, those are our three notes. We're then going to repeat those notes in the same order, okay, on the A string. First finger, second finger, fourth finger. Okay, so you can see these two strings, symmetrical, same pattern, okay? We then move to the fourth string, where we're going to play with our first finger on the second fret, followed by our second finger on the third fret, and our fourth finger on the fifth fret, okay? So we take those notes there on the fourth string, and repeat the same pattern again on the third string, starting on the second fret with the first finger. So again, a symmetrical pattern of notes, pair of notes. So now we have two patterns crossing four strings. First pattern. Second pattern. The last pattern where we start on the on the second string is going to be played with our first finger here on the third fret, followed by a third finger on the fifth fret, and our little finger on the sixth fret. That's the pattern there on the second string. And then we repeat that pattern on the first string. First, um, sorry, first finger, third fret, third finger, fifth fret, little finger, sixth fret. So you can see again, one pattern used across two strings. Okay. So let's review. Pattern one, first finger, second finger, third fret, fourth finger, fifth fret. Same on the next string. First finger, first fret, second finger, third fret, fourth finger, fifth fret. Now we change to the first finger on the second fret, second finger, third fret, fourth finger, fifth fret. Next string, first finger, second fret, second finger, third fret, fourth finger, fifth fret. Next string, first finger, third fret, third finger, fifth fret, little finger, fourth finger, sixth fret. Same on the next string, first finger, third fret, third finger, fifth fret, little finger or fourth finger, sixth fret. There we have it. So you may wish to pause this video, refer back to the book and break this down. A nice way of doing this is to learn the pattern for each pair of strings. So learn this pattern first and learn to repeat it across those two strings. Learn the next pattern, learn it across these two strings, then put the two together. Learn the next pattern, and then put it across these two strings. Now, when you've done that, what we need to do is, from a uh, advanced point of view, we need to really, not really advanced, but this is scale basics, we need to really understand where the root notes of these, of these this scale is. So the root note is here, starting the note we start from, which is F, first fret on the sixth string. We also have an F note found here, on the third fret of the fourth string. So our first octave, finishes there. Okay. We also have an F note up here on the 6th fret of the 2nd string, the B string. 
So our second octave finishes there. And then a the scale continues on to the first string, okay, to a B flat note up here on the sixth fret, where we've actually passed the root note. So in order that we can play the scale and hear it tonally from the note of F, we need to play past the note, okay, on the, on the um, sixth fret on the second string, and then come back and resolve it to the F note on the sixth fret on the second string. And that will give us the tone of F for the whole scale. There we go. So there's a number of things to do with the scale. First thing is to learn the pattern and just work the scale nice and slowly. Second thing is to look for the root notes, okay, and be able to play this scale any octave. Be able to start from the F note here and play one octave to this note. Be able to start from this F note here and play to one octave to this note. And also to be able to play past this note here up to the first string and come back to the F note here. Okay. So if you have any questions on that, please give me a call, email me, get hold of me any way I can, I can help you out. And of course, we're going to talk more about this in our lessons. Uh, but have fun, okay? It's a great scale, and it has a huge amount of possibilities because we have a closed scale here, and we can move it around. And we're going to be talking about that more in our lessons once you've learned the shape, okay? So take care. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.